Here's our walkthrough of Once Human. We're about to embark on a new mission, having almost completed the Lost Lady quest. As the guy on the cliff asked, we'll be searching for the miracle that appears when the moon is high in the sky. So gear up, hop on the bike, and let's start this adventure. You just need to reach the statue, open your inventory, go to cosmetics, and then to expressions where you'll find prey. Equip it and pray to open the chest located behind the statue. Easy, right? And here's our drop. Now let's head to the camp to talk to Claire and turn in the old lady mission. I found an old necklace. Will you accept it? Mission accomplished at last. While I was equipping the cosmetics earlier, I thought I saw a check mark on the gear. Let's check it out and see what I found. Oh, this helmet afterglow is super cute. It's like Bumblebee. All right, now I'm facing the final mission in this first area. With my Bumblebee-like uh, helmet, there's no stopping God. me. Let's head to Dayton for Hospital. To come by. I need your help, please. Someone needs our help, and we're going to help them. What's the matter? My partner Kayla and I were out scavenging, and we got ambushed by some of those vulture bastards. We managed to get away, but I got hit pretty bad. Where's your wife? Kayla went to an abandoned hospital nearby to try to find some medical supplies, but it's been more than two days, and she hasn't come back. Without those supplies, I don't think I'll make it. I'm begging you. Can you help me out? I'll see what oh, I can do. Thank you. It's not far from here. I'll give you whatever I can for your help. If you search that room, you'll also find Back to Normal, a page from the field guidebook. If you head towards this shed with the greenhouse where the chest is located, you'll find another page from the field guide. Guys, look at this luck. An armored bus all set to be boarded and looted. Let's go claim it. This loot was way too easy. Wow, thanks. If you head to the left, you'll find this lovely little square with some good loot. As for the second chest, well, you might as well skip it since it's a trap as usual with that creepy spring zombie puppet. Don't forget to collect another page from the field guide behind the chest. I almost missed it, but being meticulous paid off and I managed to grab it. Another page can be found at the restaurant in front of the hospital. In addition to a lootable chest, you'll find another page on the table called Failed Get Rich Quick Scheme. As always, remember to activate the rift anchors if you haven't done so already, as they're always useful items. Going straight from the rift anchors and heading back towards Paul's house, you'll find another restaurant with yet another page from the book. It's called The Haunted Wheelchair. At the supermarket across the street, you'll find another page on the shelves near the entrance or the checkout, whichever you prefer. Now that we've thoroughly cleaned out the area and gathered most of the loot I could spot, let's move on and enter the hospital. Hopefully, we won't have to face any bosses. Go up the stairs, and to the right you'll find a hospital room with yet another page. This zombie at the door doesn't bode well for Paul's poor wife. Dear Paul, I want to go and help you so much, but this wheelchair is trapping me here in this room. I see no hope to escaping. If by any chance someone can find this note, please bring this medkit to Paul and save him. That letter was very touching, but what does it mean by this wheelchair is trapping me here in this room? Is there a wheelchair moving on its own? Oh no. Where on earth am I?
Is there no one here? Or maybe it's better not to ask that you question. You saw that too, right? Looks like we've got a deviation on our hands. Here's the wheelchair. It says it's a deviation. Should we follow it? Let's hope for the best. Wow, what should I do here? This door just brought me back to the exact spot where I entered. What's happening? And what does the nurse's phone call have to do with this? All right, let's see what this calendar says. So it seems that moving around the room changes the month while going straight through the doors changes the day. I need to reach the date mentioned by the nurse on the phone, which is the 15th of September, right? I decided to cut ahead a bit because I messed up and went past the 9th, but after that, you just need to go to the phone and call the nurse. After calling the nurse, head to the last and only bed with the heart rate monitor and the way forward will open up. Until now, the doors wouldn't have opened, so do as I did. Here we are with our deviation right in front of us. Now just grab it, get ready with the F key and capture it. Heading up to the top floor of the hospital, you'll find access to the second hospital building. It's the only way to reach that area since the lower floors are all blocked off. Here, as you can see, we can find the mystical crate. With 10 beautiful fragments of the blast suit. If you continue down this path, you'll be able to access the third structure, which is a hospital garage. As soon as you descend, follow the arrow to your left to find an item for the disassembly bench, which will provide you with a lot of materials. In the distance, while descending into the garage, I saw this event and decided to get closer to check it out. Basically, you need to guard this spot and prevent enemies from getting too close. You'll find a shadow galing on the ground, which will make it much easier to eliminate the invaders. Just look at the sheer power of this weapon. I'm already in love with it. Mission completed. This time, it only required killing one monster. You can now open the chest and look at that. Another deviation. What luck, getting two in a day. Yoo-hoo. I decided to return to the entrance of the second structure. By jumping down with B, we can find the second supply crate we needed to complete the Dayton Hospital area. Oh, as always, I almost forgot. We also found another page from the book. Let's finish exploring this area and then head back to our poor Paul. If you follow this path in this room, you'll find another gold loot for our disassembly bench. And here we are, back to update Paul about his wife and give him the medicines he needed. I brought it back. You came back. Uh, did you find anything at the hospital? I found the medical supplies Kayla was after. Oh, thank you. You may have just saved my life. And Kayla, do you know what happened to her? I'm sorry she didn't make it. Oh. I... I see. Thank you for telling me. 
At least you found out for me, I guess. Here, take this for your help. I felt very sorry for responding like that to Paul, and I also felt for poor Kayla. But it's better to give a harsh truth than a false one, especially since Paul might have searched for her for the rest of his days. So, I chose to be honest with him. What would you have said? Anyway, that's it for today's video and the missions in this area. Stay tuned for the next video in this walkthrough. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please subscribe, give it a like, leave a comment, and hit the notification bell for updates on my videos. Thanks.